Alright, what's up guys? So I'm just going to be making a quick explanation video of PGP encryption and the basics of it and how to use it and how to decrypt PGP encryptions and so on. So to start this off, I'm using GPG for win specifically Cleopatra. So to start off this tutorial, I'm going to open up Cleopatra and I'm just going to show you how it works. So first of all, if you want to contact someone that has a public PGP code or a public PGP key, what you can do is import this public PGP key. Now, I'm going to find a PGP key and import it for an example. Okay guys, so I'm just going to open up Tor, and I found a public PGP key on um, a website called Dream Market, which is kind of illegal, but I'm going to use this PGP key. So I'm just going to copy that. I don't know who this is, just a random person. And I'm going to open up Cleopatra. And then on the desktop, I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a text file. Now I'm going to call it whatever I want to. I'm going to call it um, PGP test. I don't know. I'm going to open it and I'm going to paste in the PGP key and I'm going to save it as. I'm going to save it as PGPPP something random. And I'm going to change save as type to all files, and then I'm going to name the extension .gpg. And I'm going to save that on my, on my desktop. So now that I have this file, we're going to open up Cleopatra and import a certificate. A certificate. So we're going to go to the desktop and then go to the file that we just created, which is pgppp.gpg. And it imported it to my Cleopatra. So now if we double click this, we get his email. And we are able to send encrypted messages to him. Now, in order to encrypt a message, what you want to do is open up any type of text editor or file and write whatever you'd like. So I'm going to write, this is an encrypted message all right sorry about that I just stopped my video but as I was saying what you want to do is highlight the message that you want to encrypt and copy it to your clipboard so just press control C or right click and copy next what you want to do is go to your system tray and right click on the Cleopatra icon and then click clipboard and then encrypt next you want to add a recipient and I'm going to add um, I'll add this person right here and I'll press OK and next and OK and now it will copy the encrypted version to my clipboard like this now in order to decrypt this I will have to know the encryption password to the person that I just sent it to so say I want to decrypt it I'm going to highlight this message and copy it to my clipboard and I'm going to right click on the icon, go to clipboard and decrypt. And I'm going to in, and I'm going to enter the passphrase which was oops. This. And if I press control V again, it will paste the encrypted message. So that's how you encrypt and decrypt. Now you might have been wondering what that password was. Now if you open up Cleopatra and you go to File New Certificate and you create a personal PGP, you enter a name, you enter an, an email, and a comment. You don't have to enter a comment. And you press Next and Create Key and you also have to make a passphrase. So I'm just going to name this ASDF. ASDF and finish. Now, if I go to my, um, if I go to here, where is this? All certificates, the one that I just made, will be here. Okay, my certificates. Here we go. Now, here is the certificate that we just made. It's right here. 
Now, if we're sending an encrypted message to that person, uh, the only way that they that they will be able to decrypt it is if they have the password. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I explained most of what I want to explain in this video. So, if this did help you, please leave a like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it a lot, and yeah, see you next time.